Hello again. In the previous video, we talked about some really simple data types, and now we will talk about more complicated data types. And when we say complicated, they're not complicated to understand, but they consist of more simpler data types. So let's just add this cube to Expresso and extract its position. And when we do that, we're going to notice that we do have a couple of options. We do have the position X and Y and Z separately or individually. And we do have the position of the cube. When we just extract this and extract the X position. And if we hover over this output port, we're going to notice this uh, really cool uh, note or message uh, which tell us that this uh, is a vector and we do have this position X which is a real number vector is consists of more than one thing or exactly three things so the position X Y and Z together is a vector the size X Y and Z together is a vector and also the rotation H P and B all together is a vector. If we just add a constant and change the data type to color, a color is a vector value. Change the data type of the constant to normal. The normal is also a vector because it consists of three values. So this is a vector. But if we talk about a vector in a more of a geometrical sense we're gonna say that a vector is an arrow and that arrow has a direction and a magnitude or length and in our 3d space we're gonna need or have more than one vector and for these vectors we can do all sort of mathematical operations like adding subtracting multiplication or dividing so if we just add this vector to that vector so we're going to put it on the tip of the original vector we're going to have another vector that will be drawn from the original point in space which is the world center to that new point in 3d space so we're going to have a new vector and we're going to have a new value which we can use I know this doesn't make any sense to you for now, but it will be very clear once we do it through a practical example, which I will do in the future after I finish this series of tutorials about the nodes and operators in Expresso. So let's talk about even more complicated data type, and that is the matrix. So let's just delete these ports and uh, let's extract the local matrix and let's change the data type of this result from vector to a matrix and we're gonna see these whole bunch of numbers which is a little bit scary but it's very easy to understand so the first three values will represent the offset of the object so we moved this cube along the y-axis 100 centimeters so we're gonna have this 100 centimeters in the Y, which is the second value. So these three values will represent the X, the Y, the Z. The three other values will represent the orientation. These three numbers will represent the X axis and these three values will represent the Y axis and these three values will represent the Z the single numbers within these values will represent the x and y and z but in relation to the world axis so first of all let me put this uh, cube back to the world center and then notice that these axes of the cube is following the axes of the world space within our viewport so the y which has the color green is following the arrow which have the same color so we're gonna have these values in the x 
for one because the x axis of the cube is following the x axis of the viewport and we're going to have the same thing in the z now if we just change the orientation of this object we're going to have some different values so if we just grab the rotation tool and then just try to rotate this 90 degrees we're going to have a different values now in the x and y and z now we're going to have minus value in the y axis because the x axis of the world is facing the y so these three values will represent the orientation of the object within our viewport in relation to the orientation of the world in our viewport thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one